less than a thousand pesos, which is less than twenty dollars. So think about that. If you're in America, where can you spend twenty bucks and feed three people with a big, with a decent meal? So. here at BC Chicken and we were greeted by some people singing over there. What's up group? What's up? Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, what is that again? Yeah. Hey everyone, so we are at BC Chicken, a local spot here in Davao, right on, what is this street? Kimpo? Kimpo Boulevard, and this spot we go to a lot. Uh, it's fairly priced, food is good. It's outside, which I really like. They have they have like different venues here. They have like a mango spot here, fresh juice here. I think like Indian food here, Middle Eastern food, and they have another spot that serves like certain type of desserts. But generally speaking, the average meal here is about you, you, you'll be full with 160. As well as uh, there's some really good stuff here. Good hito, good tuna belly. We're gonna show you some food. But generally speaking, if you and your friends are going out. You want to spend less than 500 pesos for two people? This could be the spot for you. It's right on Kimpo Boulevard, right across. It's right near. Uh, actually, it's right near inside here. So the restaurant, right? So this seats about like 60 to 70. More than. It's Friday and um, not a lot of people here, but it's early too. It's only like right before six o'clock, right about near the dinner rush. So. For those of you who are interested in opening up a restaurant, understand that these things happen. It's Friday. You are on the main highway. Sometimes it's not going to be that busy all the time. This place has been here for a long, long time, I think. Been here for a long time. Now, up the road is like Rams. This thing's been there longer since like 70s. But generally speaking, these things happen. As you can see behind me, it's not packed, but dinner rush is coming. For those of you trying to open up a restaurant here in the Philippines, or just anywhere in general. These days do happen, even though you think it's Friday, you have good prices, shit happens. But nonetheless, they're in a good spot. There's some more restaurants over here. If you, I'm gonna put the links down below, or links above here for the, I want for, to do the only wings, what I look for, Chicks, Chicks Boy. But yeah, but nonetheless, like, their food, honestly, their food tastes good. Like comparable to like Mangi Nassau, if you do eat there, this it might be a bit better. And they have Bisaya Manok, which is uh, my wife's favorite. So, yeah, check them out. BC Chicken. Hey. Okay. We're about to eat uh, Ginataang Mongo, right? Am I saying that right? But I know it's milk, coconuts, mongo, mongo beans, and kalamungai with moringa. So, this is it right here. So that should taste good. I love everything with kalamongai anyway, but there's a creaminess to it. And mongo is a really good mongo bean, very good for protein. Dili basmate, pero it's almost basmate. Good job, guys. Look at that for the price. You can't go wrong. This ginataang mongo, I've ate a few in some places, always is fresh. Always is great. Tastes really good. What I also got was uh, pecho with uh, with uh, galo rice, which is like pretty much chicken oil with white rice and a little bit of garlic. So that's gonna really taste really good. It's a bit some some more for you guys means like it's a bit uh, rich. Kind of have to drink uh, some soda afterwards or, or you know something to lighten it up. But I got some mango. I I'm gonna guesstimate everything's gonna cost. Less than a thousand pesos, which is less than twenty dollars. So think about that. If you're in America, where can you spend twenty bucks and feed three people with a big, with a decent meal? So, yeah. yeah. Ruby got tuna belly, which is, I think it's a hundred pesos per gram. So that's gonna be, lady told us about seven hundred pesos. So it might be a little bit over 
a thousand, but think about what you're spending here in the Philippines, right? That's why I tell people all the time, if, if you're gonna go a bit like, like, like eat whatever you want, you might, here in bigger cities, you might spend 2K a day, and that's, that's, that's eating well, or you're gonna go the budget route, but 2K a day, 40 bucks in one day, uh, concerning American, pretty good deal. But I'll, I'm gonna give you the final bill when we finish eating, and then, um, I'm gonna chow down and this food is gonna taste really good. I don't know how you guys are with the spice. I love, there's a traditional sauce that you put in soy sauce and a bunch of chili. I have a bunch of chili in here. I'm gonna take this, dip that in, and enjoy my, my food. Oh no, um, I'm in the middle, middle of the night yet. Before Matopo's uh, echo. No, I'm in Echo Land actually today. Jim Mongo Gahapon, right? Yeah. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Pecho, it's pretty much like barbecued uh, chicken, like chicken breast with a with a leg. Typical barbecue, but it's marinated in like it's a it cooked like in a salad way. So, uh, if you're into barbecue or grilled foods, it's uh, you gotta get it. Um, I believe it started in like Bacolod. I could be wrong, but. Nonetheless, it, the food tastes good. So altogether, we spent So we are, this is on Kimpo, but that is the logo right there. But yeah, I'm about to get some sleep. Probably sleep for an hour and then go to work.